What's up everybody, it's Lil D's Corner here. So today, we're gonna be talking about Giovanni Bernard signing with the Buccaneers. And he he, he played for the uh, Bengals his, his luggage for a few seasons. And he, he did pretty good with them. So we, I, I guess he wanted to sign with the Buccaneers because he, he had a chance, you know, at um, you know, the beginning of the Super Bowl. But we're, we're gonna be talking about that in today's video, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, so first and foremost, like the video if you like it, and subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. And yeah, let's get into it, guys. All right, so Giovanni Bernard signed with, their, uh, with the Buccaneers, and really, um, I, I think that you know he, he's a pretty good running back, but I think it's gonna be like a third string for them or second string because they already have Ronald Jones and they have um, Leonard Fournette and all those other guys. And I don't think that he's gonna be able to outrace or out, you know, do those other two to be to become the number one. So I, I really think he just signed with them to try to get a Super Bowl because you already know he's probably not gonna get it with the Bengals side. So, so that uh, that's probably one reason he tried to sign with them. But you know, um, I just really think you know he like he he just really he's a pretty good running back, but. I don't really get why the Buccaneers signed him. Well, well they signed him to a one-year deal, so obviously he got he, he, he like he, he's probably gonna you know get released by next year if he doesn't do you know well. But he, he's probably gonna be pretty productive there. He's not gonna do you know like outstanding, but you never know what could happen. But I don't really see him you know doing like the best. But I, I definitely see him maybe being like you know like a like a pretty good you know a pretty good running back, a decent running back for them. He can help them you know with the rushing game a little bit and he can try to you know um you know help with the offense but um yeah he, he would have to play pretty good you know especially playing for the Buccaneers you have to really impress them especially with the team they have now you have to really impress them to become that number one receiver well I, I'm sorry number one running back it, like you know if you want to you know even if you want to get there you have to try your best and you know you do your best you can so, I, I, to be honest, I, I think that probably is the best fit for him, you know, because he, he has been playing for a good amount of time in his career, so you already know he's probably going to just want to win the Super Bowl with them, because they have, you know, they have, they won the Super Bowl just last year, so now they're officially probably Super Bowl contenders, so I think, you know, I, I think mainly what they have to do, the Buccaneers, to win another one is, they just have to do the same thing they did last year. But the thing is, they can't, you know, like they're, they're probably not going to have Antonio Brown like next season because he might sign with another team. But you never know, he, they, he might stay with them. And if he does, if he does, then I think they should keep the same scheme they had uh, this year. Uh, you know, last year in 2020, I, I think they should keep the same scheme because it worked really well against all the other teams, even though they ended up with 11-5 record. I did, they still made it to the playoffs. I won the Super Bowl. It's really all matters. So... Yeah, that's uh, that's really all I got to say about the whole situation. And um, as you guys know, I got the um, I got the uh, I got the new um, I, I got like I, I put these two uh, little things up. I got the Joe Flacco and the you know property of the Baltimore Ravens. You know, kind of like that. But um, yeah, that's really all I got to say about the whole situation. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you like it, and subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. And by the way, just spread positivity in the world. As I always say, just you know, just help, just help everybody you can, help the elderly, help everybody pick up trash around the world, and just you know, just you know, just keep doing it and spread a lot of positivity and do and do it as much as you can, you know, because the world isn't the best right now and it's not really a safe place right now. So you, you can try to make it to be safe, and, and you know, you can make it try to be better, you know, because of, because of the, the world's uh, like a lot of people are going through a lot right now. So just you know, just spread a lot, just spread as much positivity as you can. And yeah, that's really all I got to say. And I hope you have a great rest of your night. And I'm out. Peace.